On the 11th day of occupation of the legislature by university students, the protesting students are drumming up support for their planned protests scheduled to take place on Ketagalan Boulevard on Sunday. They hope to mobilize 100,000 people to express opposition to the trade-in services pact that Taiwan signed with China. All around the legislative Yuan, there are signs calling on people to join Sunday's demonstration against the cross-strait trade and services pact. We want to tell the Ma government that delay tactics won't drain our willpower. They will only increase our determination and resolve. We must win this battle. Student leader Ling Feifan is determined for the demonstration this Sunday to bring the student movement to a climax that leads to the rejection of the trade and services pact. He has called on all members of the general public to occupy Kedegalan Boulevard starting from 1 o'clock on Sunday. Lin believes a large turnout will convince President Ma ying to yield to the students' demands. University students from across the nation and civic groups are joining to mobilize support. They hope to gather upwards of 100,000 people. We could send out 20 tour buses that will transport students from the south. The atmosphere has gone beyond what we imagined. All sectors of society have risen up. Virtually all citizens have risen up. Ahead of Sunday's demonstration, President Ma ying plans to hold another press conference on Saturday at 10.30 a.m.